Thank you to Atlassian for sponsoring today's video. Throughout my career in cybersecurity, these are a few things I picked up along the way that are really helped me grow my career as a cybersecurity analyst. I'm Sandra and I've been a cybersecurity analyst for four years and I also make videos on how to start a career in cybersecurity. Whether you're just starting out or a bit more seasoned, number one is focusing on a specialization. When starting out my career, I focused primarily on being a generalist. However, do you think it'd definitely be more beneficial to your career if you specialize in one specific area in cybersecurity, whether it be digital forensics, ethical hacking, risk and compliance, etc. Specializations typically also make it easier and more straightforward for you to grow in your career. For example, if you start off as a junior pen tester, then the path forward in your career is typically a whole lot simpler because as you grow and get promoted, you typically move on to more senior roles with your experience, as well as completing any certifications along the way that are related to your specific role. And no matter what team you work on in cybersecurity, one of the most important skills to learn is collaborative work on cross-functional teams. Cybersecurity is one of the teams that really do touch almost every area in an organization. This could be everything from how a user logs in to applications, firewall settings, VPN settings, and of course, dealing with regulatory and compliance regulations. This makes cybersecurity teams one of the most high-touch teams across an organization. And that is because they have so many different stakeholders. Most of the teams and projects that I've worked across require cross-functional collaboration, and we use JIRA to keep everything organized in one place. This is a lifesaver when the time comes for our team to go through our annual audits JIRA makes the process a whole lot easier because you have your ticketing queues, your project boards, your backlog, all in one place in JIRA. So when you need to provide the evidence to the auditor on whether or not your backups were tested or if incidents were documented properly, JIRA is the one source of truth that teams can refer back to. This saves everyone time on pulling evidence or event logs that would have originally taken weeks to gather in just a few hours. Usually our audits are ongoing for months at a time and just taking some of the workload off the team by documenting our auditory evidence on JIRA can prevent the back and forth between teams. In addition to technical skills, you'll also need to have a strong understanding of the business context behind your work. This means understanding how cybersecurity impacts your organization's bottom line, how it affects customer acquisition and retention, and how it aligns with the organization's overall goals. By doing so, you'll be able to communicate more effectively with business leaders and stakeholders to make better informed decisions about ongoing projects and initiatives. A great way to track these is using JIRA, where you can look back at past tickets to understand how you've contributed to different company initiatives and KPIs. You can easily link your JIRA tickets to an overarching project to keep track of the individual ways that you are contributing towards a larger goal. Next up, I'll share a way to gain more technical experience if you're just starting out. If you're passionate about cybersecurity and are looking for a side project or something to work on that can also help you develop a more technical skill set, then I highly recommend looking into how to contribute and participate on an open source project. Open source projects offer valuable resources for cybersecurity teams, big or small, to help organizations and individuals enhance their security capabilities, conduct vulnerability assessments, and improve their overall defense against attacks. Contributing to open source projects is also a great way to develop a technical understanding of a tool that you may already be using in your cybersecurity role. And as a cybersecurity professional, you're constantly learning. Whether it's through news articles, research papers, or even just casual conversations, you're always absorbing new information about the latest trends and threats, and this is especially important for staying ahead of the curve on new cyber attacks, which will give you the time you need to implement the necessary security measures and protect your organization from any emerging threats. So as you progress in your cybersecurity career, you may want to consider obtaining advanced certifications. This is a great way to demonstrate your skills and knowledge to potential employers, and it can also help you grow in your current role. Ultimately, the best way to advance in your cybersecurity career is to continue growing your skill set, but an advanced certification can be the cherry on top when you're considering a new role. All right, so that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below, and I'm happy to answer them. Thank you again to Atlassian for sponsoring today's video. 
You can learn more about Atlassian's cross-functional team collaboration tools linked in my description below. And if this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!